Oh, they were just left our apartment, just back there. And we are making our way to the square. We're about a kilometre off the Camino. So we've got to have a kilometre up our sleeve before we even start. And then we've got 25 kilometres to go. So. Which is going to be at least 28. Yeah, that's right. Spanish kilometres are longer than normal kilometres. Because even though every day when we've looked at it and it's worked out to like say 22 kilometres, it always comes out to another three on top of it. So when you're planning your Camino days, please take that into account. But uh, they're reckoning the rain may be gone by midday. But it don't look like it at this stage. Look at us, getting ready for the big day on the water, on the Camino. We're sexy girls today. <laughs> Stop raining yet? No. We're like Teletubbies today. Teletubbies. <laughs> All right, it hasn't stopped. Well, it's not like we're not prepared for this. <laughs> so, this is Cacabellos, which is leaving now. We've got about 24 kilometres of walking ahead of us. And it looks like most of that might be in the rain. But we'll see how we pull up. All right, we're heading out. But look at this, crossing the bridge for the Rio Cuya. It's, uh, it's looking a bit swollen. It's got a big weir over there where it falls away. So this is it, we're leaving Cacabellos. And look at the hills over there, they're um, quite misty. Can't see the tops of them. And there's cows. Yeah, well, they don't mind the rain. All right, more soon. All right. So this is a massive wine press, ancient one. Look at the size of it. It's a lump of wood. It's huge. It's got a big corkscrewy thing on this end here. And uh, they put all the wine down in this area down here. And then these... These dudes all hang off the, the big end there and they just squeeze it down like a big plant and all the wine comes out there. So this is not ideal. The Camino has us walking out of town on this road. It's a bit of a, a an incline. And the cars are just zooming by. There's Cacabellos behind us there. So we've been right climbing for the last half hour. All oh, right, that feels free. We've uh, just taken right, off the ponchos. ponchos off. And we're feeling like it's uh, a weight lifted off, having those plastic things wrapping around your head. Oh, what's this, all these artwork here or something? I'll pick up this for this lady, she dropped the hat. Permiso. Deja eso. No. Hola. Vale. No, no. Ah. ¿Es tú? No, no es mío. ¿Es tú? A ver, mío, mío. Ah, sí. Gracias. Aquí. En la, el camino. La saca del móvil, la saca del móvil. Gracias. No, de nada. Oh, ¿Qué es esto? Un escultor. Oh, yeah. En la guerra. Escultor, yeah. Muy famoso. Oh, esto, es, this hombre is uh, very famous and he's in there sculpturing at the moment. Míralo, está ahí, trabajando. Es en Nogueira, famoso. Nogueira. Ok. <laughs> He's a famous sculptor, apparently. So when you're travelling on the roads in Australia, they have rest stops for weary travellers in their vehicles and truck drivers, but here in the Camino, they have rest stops for Camino travellers. So for the walkers, they put these little roadside stops. And we're just about to head into the in interior. So here's our latest sign, though. We're at 191 k's to Santiago. It's pretty exciting. Oh, Shaz is going to do the... She's taken, she's taken it off. Every time you take your poncho off, it starts oh, raining again. It's going to start raining again. <laughs> That's not... Oh, I'm, I'm almost with her on that one. All right. Well, it does make it worth it when you come over a hill and see a view like that. It's out for the truck. <sighs> Little vineyards, wineries. 
Okay, so that's uh, the two Caminos join there. There's the northern route out of Cacabalos and the southern one on the road, which we took because of the rain. We would have taken the northern one if it wasn't so wet, but we're back on the normal trail now. Shaz is getting a layer off because it's warming up. It's quite humid. Never got cold, even with all that rain this morning. It was yeah, still only yeah, probably about 20 degrees. So I think we're going to have a stop up in this next village for a bit of a rest. Ooh, that looks fancy. That looks pretty good. So another valley. There should be a village down here somewhere. This is just so picturesque. This part of Spain is blowing our minds. With everywhere you look, there's a view. Yeah, probably got eggs. Wow, this is pretty easy on the eye, walking through these beautiful green, lush valleys. The church over there. Yeah, I got to oh, look at that, it's a castle or a fort, I don't know. Yeah, not just like the castle, the form and the Wow. Alright, here we are, we've got uh, Smoko rest stop. Fresh squeezed orange juice, boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. And Perfect. Beer. So they've got <laughs> everything on everything on hand for the pilgrim. Calle del Agua, so I don't know, street of water. That's where we've just come from. We just had smoke up there at the top of the hill. And so this whole town of Villafranca del Bioso is built on the side of a hill, so it's got all these snaking roads where all the, the cars go. The guy's just letting us through. We're going this way. <laughs> I just about got hit by a car coming through there. <laughs> that mirror nearly got me. I oh, know. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is the Plaza Mayor. Villafranca del Bierzo. Hustling right here. That was an amazing place. We had the all the food. Bean <laughs> trucks, octopus being cooked, bloody chicken ribs, sausages. So good. How's this? So specko. Yeah, it's one lane bridge. So it's walking the Camino that gets you to see places like this. If you were just driving through, you probably wouldn't even come here. You'd probably be on one of the motorways. Spectacular. So much to see everywhere you look.
just too much to see. Look at Shay, she's carrying the roast chicken that we just bought at the market. She says it's the best thing she's seen on the whole Caminos. And she's probably thinks it's the best thing she's seen since she was in Parat Markets in Darwin. So we had to stop and buy some chicken. Looks like Portuguese style, so if that's what's going on in Portugal, bring it on. We might head there. So there's a sign there, 187. I'm wondering if that's the new signpost we're going to be seeing, 187 kilometres to where we're going. But we're just leaving Villa Franca, and just like that, like 100 metres and we're out of all the hustle bustle. It's like we're in the countryside. So that was a great little stop. All right, we're on the way. Look at this countryside. Big tunnels right through this mountain. You can see through the other side there. <laughs> All right. Well, luckily the freeway's up there, and we're on the looks like the old road before they built the freeway, and it's gets very little traffic, which is quite pleasant. So we've got this the nice comfortable walk through the the valley here pretty good but that chicken Shaz is carrying is it a burden oh it's harder work walking with that stick that's for sure it's harder walking with a half a chicken sitting in a takeaway package <laughs> anyway we're gonna eat it shortly oh yeah so we were hoping for a, a bar to sit to eat our chicken which doesn't look that exciting anymore yeah, anyway. I'm sure it is. And uh, look what's happened. All these cats have come in and started harassing us. <laughs> Los gatos. Anyway, this is our snack. Lunch snack. So we've just had lunch in Pejeros. There was a fountain here which had uh, treated water, which was good. And we've got about 12 k's to go. And looks like the weather's looking pretty good. We just had a spit, but it stopped. So, so we've still got the river on that side of us, and we're on this old highway, which Kent's just noticed has got the same address or the same name as the road that our hotel's on tonight. So, obviously, our hotel's going to be somewhere along this road, only about 12 k's on. So, I'm guessing we probably stick to the road most of the way to the next village. Mm. This is not too bad, as long as, the, as long as you don't get too much camber in this path, that's what seems to be causing all the foot problems at the moment. Yeah, these houses are just being overtaken oh, by the jungle. The yeah. I don't know, someone tried to stop the inevitable maybe. <laughs> but air here, we're just leaving now, that's the last of it. Alright, we're entering the realms of Trabadello, which is, uh, and has a small river flowing past. I've seen there's been uh, signs saying fishing, so I'm guessing they'd be catching trout. I've seen a few fellas with their rods out. So about a kilometre we'll be in the town. I think we're about to stop for a refreshment. Trabadello, coming into it now, there's, a, there's some mills back on the road. There's a bike coming. Mills back on the road and a couple of factories here. This is a bar, I think that's where we, we're going to make a beeline for the bar. Get some refreshment into us. That's the river still there. Landy. This is us. So she has asked for a little bit of ice for a foot and he can get a huge bag. Yeah, half so, of that for me, half for Annie. So Good though. icing down of the foot yeah. is a necessity on some of these stretches. But um, how's this for a little bar? Very nice. Trevadillo. Oh, Tre Trevadalo. 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 Uh, what do we reckon? About seven k's to go? Eight k's to go? I've got 19 and a half on mine already and oh, it's got yeah. 18. 
and a half. Rain in. So yeah, somewhere about seven. About seven to go. All right. Well, things, things have taken a turn. It's looking a bit dark. Look up. <laughs> We're anticipating rain, judging by this wind squall that's just come through. Yeah. But a fair, fair way to stop it raining is put your poncho on to be always fine. What was that you said, Chaz? Taxi. <laughs> Look at this. It is bucketing. It's sort of in the lee of this tree here at the moment. But it is coming down. Could even get hailstones at this bloody altitude. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look at this bridge. <laughs> it's a bit mossy coated. Bit of moss on it. There's the Rio Valcarce down below. Uh, looks like we dodged the, the worst of that one. Let's keep going. Well, there's a few of them there, what though. Do you reckon they are? I'd say trout. I don't know. There's hmm. a few of them. So there's a confluence of two creeks or rivers and uh, we just spotted fish swimming there in the current and we just passed a, a big pond that was stocked with, I'm guessing, trout for tourists to have a fish. So this is Ambas Mestus. Ambas Mestus. No, unfortunately, sorry. So there's this massive bridge going across the valley. It's got the freeway and there's our town. Vega de Valcarce. So that's where we're staying tonight. I'm just wondering was our hotel underneath that bridge. Oh god. Well there we go, it's only fitting that we get to camp by the river as well. Not bad digs.